okay, I'm feeling this. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not, I am not exaggerating, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here though, welcome. My name is Britt. Today I'm going to be trying out the entire Camille Rose line. Well, not the entire thing, but you know what I do have. <laughs> and if you watch my videos, if you're a subscriber, you know I give props to the YouTubers who can do their like hair routine and record it. This this is just not a thing that I do, but I really wanted to give you guys a treat and you know show you guys the whole thing in the shower so anyways we're starting off with the shampoo and as you can see i thought it smelled really great and i just lathered it up in there you know just uh, washed my hair with it and bear with me i don't know if this is a good angle but this is the best i could do guys without soaking the entire bathroom so this is the best you're gonna get <laughs> as you can see i'm liking the shampoo it was really soft and gentle. It smelled yummy. My hair did not feel dry when I was rinsing it out, which I loved a lot. And then I'm like, hold up, my hair is soft. Why didn't you guys tell me about this? <laughs> Look at the definition it gave my hair when I rinsed it out. I was like pretty surprised about that. And I liked that a lot. So I went ahead and I started to wash the front section. We're just gonna speed it up a little bit because you get the point. Look at that, so much definition. And I was like, whoa, like my hair was soft and I was really impressed, I'm not gonna lie. So at this point I'm like, do you guys really need to see any more of this? I mean, <laughs> it's good. So next we're gonna go on to the deep conditioner. Smells yummy, smells like dessert, and it actually looks like dessert as well. Now I didn't feel anything crazy when I was putting it in, but as you can see, I thought it smelled really, really yummy. It started to smell like mint almost, but I haven't deep conditioned in a little bit, so I was really trying to focus it on my ends, and guys, I know I need a trim, so don't judge me on my edges. But look at that, it looks like Oreo ice cream or something, like mint Oreo ice cream, I don't know. But yeah, when I was putting it in my hair, I didn't really feel anything magical going on. So I was like, hmm, maybe it's one of those deep conditioners that need a little bit of heat. So this is just me putting it in my hair. Now I'm done. All four sections are drenched in the deep conditioner. And then I realized I forgot my cap. So yeah, here I am back with my cap. I got it when I got out the shower and I left this deep conditioner in my hair with heat for an hour, like I was cooking and stuff so naturally it was just hot and I would say my hair looked a little defined but guys when I was rinsing it out it just didn't feel deep conditioned to be honest with you I tried to do some figure detangling and as you can see like it it wasn't easy even after an hour of using heat I just wasn't impressed to be honest so i tried to use a comb and that was just a fail so i gave up and as you can see from my face i just wasn't feeling it at all i was like where's the moisture twenty dollars where's my moisture i'm sorry i hope i don't sound mean <laughs> anyways quick detour look at my hair you know again don't come for my ends but look how much it's grown crazy right but yeah, it looked like my hair was deep conditioned, but guys, it didn't feel special at all. It really didn't feel like I deep conditioned. So let's move on. I'm by my vanity and I'm gonna go ahead and use the Curl Love Moisture Milk Leave-In. And then I'm going to follow up with the Almond Jai Twisting Butter. My hair feels really clean. Now, it still feels a little bit dry. Like if you guys, oh, if you guys can see. So I don't know how I feel about the deep conditioner yet. Like when I was rinsing it out, I didn't really feel that like magical moisturized feeling. This is what we're gonna go in with. This also smells like a dessert. And I typically use a lot of product, so we'll see how much of this I need to use, especially on this section. One thing I will say though, is that my hair is super 
um defined already and all i did was wash it and deep condition it and if you guys saw when i rinsed out the shampoo it looked very defined so i really like that i typically use a lot of product but i just want to make sure that this section gets coated really well because like i said it's typically the more difficult section and i'm just gonna go in with my best tool brush and get out those final tangles that um i might have in my hair okay cool now i'm gonna go in with the twisting butter and it looks like that it doesn't look like <laughs> oreo pudding or whatever the deep conditioning looks like i'm just gonna start off with a little amount like that and see what that does Wow, this is really smooth. Okay, I'm feeling this. Oh my gosh. Whoa, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not, I am not exaggerating, guys. What the heck? <gasps> get, get out. Look at this. Hold up. <sighs> when I tell you, this is so soft and smooth. Wow. This is this is what I like. This is what I wanted to feel when I rinsed the deep conditioner out, but it's okay. She wasn't kidding when she said twisting butter. My hair literally feels like I put butter in it. I don't even know what to say. And you guys all know that I typically just squeeze out extra product. I'm not going to do that until I'm done twisting my hair and then I'll squeeze out extra so that this section and like my dryer sections can really soak in that product. Dang, I really could have made that into two sections. Why didn't I do that? I think I'm going to untwist this and make it into two sections because this is way too small for a section. So the leave-in definitely feels like your typical leave-in. It doesn't really feel like anything crazy. I wouldn't say it's not doing anything for my hair, but it just feels like your typical leave-in. Definitely feels smooth on my hair. Um, but that twisting butter though, <laughs> that thing is magical. I'm gonna get some, yeah. The twisting butter is literally just melting into my hair. Wow, okay, I really like this a lot.
All right, guys, well, there you have it. I mean, I don't even feel like I need to say anything because So just a quick overview of all of the products. This for me gets a 10 out of 10. Loved the shampoo. It cleaned my hair without making it feel stripped. And it also gave me some definition. Really like this and it smells yummy. I really wanted to like this. The deep conditioner just did absolutely nothing for my hair. When you rinse your hair out, after deep conditioning especially with heat and i did it for an hour like you know that like soft smooth moisturized feeling after you deep condition with heat i just didn't get that with this and i really didn't feel like it did anything for my hair personally like i wasn't wowed and when i rinsed it out it didn't really feel like it like my hair was super moisturized. Yeah, the deep conditioner just didn't do anything for my hair. It didn't make my hair feel like, ooh, ah, nice and soft. Especially since it's $20, I feel like, like I said in the last video, it needs to bring my hair back from the dead for me to repurchase this. <laughs> so I honestly think I'll finish it and not repurchase it. Next up, we have the leave-in conditioner. This also wasn't like something that I was super wowed about, but I didn't hate it. I feel like it did the job. Um, it definitely made my hair feel like it was doing something. It provided some moisture. I would just say it's like your average leave-in. I do feel like it softened my hair a little bit and it smells yummy. And I really didn't use as much as I thought I used. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. See, it's still at the top. So yeah, definitely didn't use too much of this and I will definitely continue to use it with the next thing. Guys, this Almond Jai Twisting Butter right here. This thing is bomb. It is like butter for your hair. It smells delicious, and I will definitely be repurchasing this. I mean, this literally felt like I took butter out of my fridge and slathered it in my hair. It was so buttery, so smooth, so moisturizing. It elongated, it defined. Definitely repurchasing this and definitely continuing to use it. I know that there's plenty more products in the line, but honestly, all I need is those three, the shampoo, the leave-in, and the twisting butter, and I am good to go. This is beautiful to me, like. So yeah, that's how I feel about the line. Hands down, recommend the twisting butter. If you haven't tried it, try it. Somebody else in my comments said that like the twisting butter was like life or something, so hands down agree with them. And yeah, that's all I have to say about it. If you want to see more hair videos, then subscribe below. Look, I can't even stop messing with my hair. Okay, focus. If you want to see more hair videos, then subscribe down below. Join the fam. And also follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with me or get like the behind the scenes of stuff. And yeah, that's, that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.